Fortnite Battle Royale Season 7 is set to be the best season of Fortnite yet. With many new Battle Royale games popping up every single day, Fortnite is going to have to set the bar high, and we firmly believe it's going to. A massive snowstorm seems to be headed towards the island, and while Season 7's theme is still a mystery, we have some promising ideas on what it could be. Plus, a brand new set of leaked files has given us some new intel on what's to come in our newest Fortnite season. Welcome back to the Simply Viral channel. If you guys are excited for Fortnite Battle Royale Season 7, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Slap that like button, it'd be much appreciated. And if you guys are brand new here to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. Now without further ado, let's go ahead, let's jump in and take a look at some brand new Fortnite Season 7 news, information, leaks, and rumors. For starters, Fortnite Season 7 is set to begin sometime between December 6th and December 13th according to the Season 6 Battle Pass timeline. In game we have just under a week left of official playtime but sometimes that end time gets extended due to Epic trying to let us finish up our Battle Passes and max out our rank as well as level up our Calamity and Dire Skins or whatever the upgradable skin might be so anytime between Thursday December 6th and Thursday December 13th Season 7 could potentially launch. Now in the past. Thursdays seem to be the days where seasons do actually go live, so the 6th or the 13th of December are probably the two most likely dates. What we know about Season 7 right now isn't a whole lot, but what we do have, we can expand on quite a bit. We know that the AIM skin is going to have an absolutely massive impact on the story and Fortnite in general here in Season 7. Pretty much all of the different unlockable skins that we've gotten through weekly challenges have played a huge role in the storyline. Looking back, I mean, look at Blockbuster. He's probably the most iconic of all of them. He played a massive role in the Fortnite storyline by launching the rocket and starting the series of one-time events that we've seen here in Fortnite and I would definitely expect to see one here in season 7 we'll be talking about that in this video as well anyways aim came to the island via a parachute and we actually can find that parachute located on the top of the tower at flush factory and seen behind flush factory very conveniently is a cloud that no one has really ever seen in the past here on Fortnite and it's become apparent that every single day said cloud is moving closer and closer to the Fortnite island people have began to speculate that that cloud is actually a snowstorm that is coming to Fortnite and it will arrive with the launch of Season 7 covering the entire map with snow. Now, why is this cloud in particular considered a snowstorm? Well, for one, it seems to be in the direction where AIM came from. If AIM's parachute is landing at Flush Factory, it seems like he could have come in the direction from that cloud. And AIM also has some snow and frost scattered on his hands and feet, making it seem like he came from a time or a place where there was snow on the ground or snow in the air. If you're parachuting through a snowstorm, chances are some of that snow and some of that frost is probably going to stick to your hands and feet, and that's exactly what happened with the AIM skin. There's also a brand new in-game audio file that has given us multiple hints as to what's to come here in Season 7. This audio file is actually playing sounds of what a player's footsteps will sound like on snow, and the footsteps can clearly be heard crunching throughout this file. Now, we can't actually play it in the video or show you guys these images due to copyright reasons since this is actually leaked material, but if that doesn't prove snow is coming to the Fortnite map, there's one more thing that this leaked audio file actually shows. When you put this audio file into a spectrogram program that actually shows what the audio file looks like, you can actually see the AIM logo portrayed within the audio file, which is pretty crazy. In the past, we've had different logos hidden behind audio files. I remember back around the time that the rocket launch was actually happening, we discovered some files in-game that actually displayed the logo of the like villain headquarters, that head with like the big menacing eyes that was like the actual layout of the headquarters on the side of the mountain. That logo was actually displayed in the spectrogram of those audio files. And now that we see the AIM skin logo inside of this audio file spectrogram and the fact that this audio file happens to be the footsteps of someone crunching around in snow, it seems to just connect the dots. The AIM skin came from a place where snow was clearly present. So the AIM skin clearly has a lot to do with Fortnite Season 7, and it doesn't stop here. There's actually some other interesting things about the AIM skin that have surfaced in the recent weeks. If you guys have been paying attention to the previous couple of weekly loading screens that you actually get when you complete all the challenges in any given week, there's actually quite a few loading screens that feature the AIM skin very mysteriously lurking in the background. There's different loading screens where people are running around at Loot Lake and AIM can be seen in the background 
creeping behind a ledge, just sort of creeping in the background and peering on at these different Fortnite skins. And even in our newest week 10 loading screen, you can see that while this big party is going on and uh, DJ Yonder's playing some music and everyone's rocking out, in the upper left corner, the aim skin is once again found creeping and spying on all the skins. So the aim skin is very mysterious, he's very weird, and he's kind of creeping up on everybody here in the Fortnite world, trying to figure something out or report something back to wherever he came from. We're not too sure, but what we do know is that the aim skin is going to play a massive part in the overall storyline here for Fortnite Season 7. There's also some other hints teasing a winter theme coming to a Fortnite Season 7 or snow coming to the map in general, and that's the fact that the Fortnite Island is actually physically getting colder. With our latest update, players have actually found that when you spectate a player very, very close to that, like you have to be all up in their face, you can actually see a player's breath in the in-game lobby and even in-game when you're actually playing. This means that it's obviously getting much colder physically on the Fortnite Island. You guys probably all know that in real life when it's cold outside and you breathe out of your mouth or nose, you can actually see your breath for a brief moment if it's super cold because your breath is actually hotter than the air you're breathing into. So in-game, if you can see a player's breath, that obviously means it's very, very cold. So the Fortnite Island is physically cooling down. We have audio files of players stomping around in snow and the aim skin appears in the spectrum and the aim skin himself has quite a few winter teases associated with him in general so it all clearly adds up to winter being a prominent theme for Fortnite Season 7, and even if Season 7 doesn't have a full-blown Winter Wonderland or holiday theme for the entire season, we'll definitely be getting some sort of snow or holiday event that includes the map being covered with snow or a snow area being added. Now, let's move on to something a little bit less cold. Leaked files have also shown us that a new hamburger or Durburger mode is coming to the game, some sort of event maybe, where it actually could pit Durburger versus Tomato Head and maybe even the Tender Defender Chicken Skin into a standoff to rule the Fortnite Island's food supply market. I'm sure you guys know about the Food Fight LTM that we just had between Durburger and Mr. Tomato Head, but now that we have the Tender Defender Skin, could that change the equation here? It seems like in-game something else that has to do with these different food supply companies is, is going to happen. Maybe this could be a potential event or a theme even for Fortnite Season 7 where it's a battle for food superiority across Fortnite where Der Burger and Mr. Tomato Head and Tender Defender have to battle it out and maybe you have to pick a team and that's your team that you're going to have to stick with for the entire season. Something like this could be very possible. Maybe it is going to be another LTM like the Food Fight LTM but these new leaked files that have come out actually after the Food Fight LTM sort of point to there being some other event or LTM that's going to take place here in the near future and I don't think there's enough time left in season 6 for it to happen within that time span leaving season 7 open for some new cool one-time events or even maybe a new LTM. Speaking of one-time events a huge one might be happening here at the midway mark of Season 7. We're talking about New Year's Eve, Times Square, Midnight, Ninja's going to be live streaming Fortnite for the world to watch. There's going to be millions of people tuning in live via Ninja's stream, in person actually watching him play. It's going to be an absolutely huge event, and that's not even something special. That's just Ninja playing Fortnite, and it just so happens to be in Times Square on New Year's Eve when the clock strikes midnight. That's pretty cool in and of itself, and like I said, that's going to attract a lot of attention, but what if a one-time event also happened in that same time frame. Ninja streaming Fortnite around the world from Times Square, New York City on New Year's Eve is going to have a lot of eyes both in the gaming world and the real world and if a new one-time event were to happen, this would be a pretty great platform to feature it on if you ask me. It is a sort of speculation, obviously nothing is confirmed here other than the fact that Ninja will be live streaming from Times Square on New Year's Eve, but uh, that's going to have a lot of attention on Fortnite and uh, if you're really trying to wow new people into playing the game, a one-time event I think could definitely change some minds and uh, get some people playing the game or at least trying it out. I think as of right now, 200 million registered users are playing Fortnite, which is absolutely insane. And why not add a couple more million onto that by featuring the game in Times Square on New Year's Eve with a one-time event. With that being said though, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys are excited for Fortnite Season 7, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, slap that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. Until next time, guys, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you on the Battle Bus. Peace out.